enough of that. That's some of the best blues playing I've ever heard you do. <laughs> Crikey. Thank you. But that's something. why. That's why. This, this is one of my favourite amps of all time. It's the favorite whole thing. Favourite amps of all time. You know what I was uh, hearing there? And, and uh, uh, hello everybody and we'll, we'll do the welcome. <laughs> but just, I didn't even realise we were filming that basically. No, I mean, I just, that's why we're a bit sort of, you know, not, not quite prepared. You know what I'm hearing out of this? That... Um, I think we first heard when we did the Vibra King and some of those UAD Ox videos is that cone cry. You know when this, yes. you know that, some of those, because that's a very clean sound that you cry. had there. Yeah, there's a but little it, bit of hair on the, it. The crispiness coming through, I think, is that classic tone when you, an amp's loud and the speakers start to do a thing. And, and you know what? This is why I will never... Uh, accept that you can really properly get inspired by using plugins in front of little studio speakers. It's very difficult. It's a very different thing. That was just crazy. Big, that was good. Man. Good, isn't it? Anyway, anyway, welcome back to Anderson's TV. Hello. Uh, I'm back. the captain. And I am uh, Danish Pete. He <laughs> is uh, Danish Ray Pete uh, today. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Ray Warren. Um, yes. Vaughan, 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 um, how do you say that last name? Ray Warren. You can say Ray whatever Vaughan. you like. Vaughan. Vaughan. Oh, Vaughan. 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 Yes. I've never been able to say that properly. Uh, Sounds like a horn. The Super Reverb. Man. It's a what Fender, it's one of the most classic Fender amplifiers uh, ever. Introduced uh, by Fender in 1963. Kind of one of the big ones. So 45 watts, four by 10. I guess a little bit like a, I don't know. It, it, for me, it's, it's, it's a sort of a, perhaps it's the, it's the Fender, not evolution of the basement is the wrong word. It's the cleaner. That, that when Fender went into the 60s and they had the sort of the black face thing, it was all about more headroom, cleaner tones maybe yeah. than the tweed stuff in the past. So I guess, you know, it's maybe like the, the reverb sort of the, and the stuff. Yeah, the right? big clean reverb -y version of a basement. Got a list of famous users. Uh, I wouldn't as say necessarily as long as you're, well, I was going to say well, as long as you're you on, short arm. Are, are they? Yeah, if you've got a short <laughs> arm. Stevie Ray, you know, probably the, 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 the guy who may be most synonymous with this amp, but... Um, you know, Freddie King, Robin Ford, Philip Sace. Um, yeah, you name it, man. They all, they've all played it. I'm sure Kirk it's, Fletcher and Joey and those guys always talk fondly about Super Reverb. It's such and, an iconic Fender amplifier, but this is different, right? This is different. This is because, different. Because, you know, <laughs> hats off to Fender. Most brands yeah. have adopted the digital, digital the thing. Digital by going, USB. Oh, okay. Let's put everything in a box. Oh yeah, display, 
USB, let's, let's, Bluetooth. Yeah, let's have a hundred different amp models and let's have a hundred different effects and let's see where oh, we yeah. can go. And that's okay. You know, that's that's digital, right? That's when you, you go. Yeah. Fender have gone, what if we just do one thing but unbelievably well? So yeah. all the processing power to do one thing as opposed to all the processing power to do lots of things. Pop. And that's where Tone Master has come in. So it's not new. You know, you've seen it already on the Deluxe and the Twin. Yeah. Incredibly popular. Um, and But now we're seeing it on Super Reverb. So if you haven't seen Tone Master before, uh, yeah, there's also, a video yes, up there. we got a video up there as of, well. Of the Twin please and, like and subscribe the, as well when you add it. Please do, yes. Uh, if Stevie or Avon, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> um, <laughs> if, uh, anyway, so yeah. You'll be on video your Video on Tone Master's up there. So basically... This looks, feels, operates, sounds uh, like the big super reverb that Fender make. But instead of it weighing, you know, 60 or 70 pounds, uh, what's that in kilos, you know, 40 kilos, something yeah, like that, 35, 40, plus, 40 kilos, yeah. uh, and costing, you know, thousands and thousands of pounds, this weighs about 35 pounds, about 16 kilos. Uh, it's not a cheap amplifier, but you can pick these up for about twelve hundred pounds. Mm. Um, so come on, Pete, you're yes. plugged into the vibrato channel with that glorious looking uh, Heritage H530. That's it. P90. P90 is on it. Um, and we'll, we'll go into, we'll, we'll, you know, strum some chords, and I'll tell you about you know the different channels, and, and we'll also go into some of the features on the back, which is where maybe the Tone Master amplifiers are a little different to the the all valve versions. Yes. Blimey. Um, How so good is that? We're How good it, is this reverb? It's great. So which we're is... in its full 45 watt mode, yeah. uh, which actually achieves that. It's um, It uses a 200 watt Class D power section in this. Ice. Um, Ice baby. Which enables this to achieve the kind of volumes that a 45 watt tube yeah. amplifier would, would give. Yeah. Um, so I think what we'll do first is we might as well just go through this, you know, left to right here. Um, so as a normal channel, uh, which has no uh, reverb or vibrato in it. It does have this bright switch and it has these two inputs. The second one is normally like a, a slightly padded input if you've got a hotter guitar, like a Les Paul or something. Um, here we go. So here's just our, I'll put everything on five, which oh, is, which kind is of 12. 12, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> True. Crikey. Uh, <laughs> the poke is ludicrous, right? It's a poke, isn't it? But that's a, four t yeah. that's a 10 speaker that just... And also it's worth mentioning the speakers in here are Jensen, so they're not... Um, they're not like special Neo not, versions, They're not Neo they? versions, so they're not light, but because they're nickel speakers and they're 10-inch, I would imagine that's why it's they're not, still yeah. light, but yeah. not as light. And I must so, admit, I prefer these. Bright switch off. <laughs> You almost I, swear. I can imagine if you're playing in a, in a venue where you've got lots of natural reverb, you don't need anything. You can just no. plug into that normal channel, boom. And you're, you are. Yeah. I do. I do remember doing a uh, doing a Fender road show where we had about oh, quite a lot of people, three or four hundred people in the audience. Yeah. And Damon, the, the the Fender demo guy, used a basement, so like a forty-five watt yeah. basement. And no, we didn't need PA. We didn't need anything. No. And no. Even then. The amp was probably only on like number three. Yeah. To, to, to. It's, anyway, and there's no master and no, so it's just a. Yeah. It's just one volume, so you get. Well, there's kind of a master because there is oh, some on true, the back, true. but that's yeah. that's where tone master comes into its own. Yeah. So let's use that second more padded channel now. It's still loud, but it's less of it, right? Right switch down. <laughs> and 
Anyway, I'm having uh, reverb withdrawal symptoms. So we're going over to the vibrato channel now, and there's a little bit more EQ, and obviously, of course, you've got reverb, and you've got your vibrato yes. as well, which uh, you can control from the foot switch. So here we are again, uh, Pete's, Pete's oh. EQ settings are maybe a little bit more traditional Fender here. So we, we've a little bit more bass, a little bit more treble, a little bit less mid-range. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Same idea with the two oh. inputs. I'm just in a, going in the go. middle position there. It's a little bit less yeah. of it, isn't it? It's less on the front end. So the idea is if you've got a pokey PAF kind of humbucker and you can't quite get the amp to stay clean because that initial note is always sending yeah, yeah, the amp, yeah. clipping the amp slightly, yeah. you use the second input and hopefully that just drops it down a little bit. It sounds good, man. On that guitar, we, the pickups aren't that hot, so probably don't really get much benefit from the second Not input. Not as hot as you, Lee. No. It's the nicest thing he's ever said. <laughs> <laughs> Today. That's with uh, bright switch off here. So I prefer it on. Um, let's show you. Now the reverbs oh. again are using proper IR reverbs here. Um, it's it, it's you know it's. For me, indistinguishable from the reverb that would be in in an actual spring reverb tray. Yeah, but you'll you know, get people in the comment yeah, section saying will. otherwise, and perhaps Mick and Dan will say otherwise. Who knows? I, I do, no, we probably yeah, know they will on that. Yeah, time. we probably know. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, I'm just going to say, whoever worked out that you could put springs in a box and run audio through it and create sounds like that Thumbs is a genius. They should have been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize back in it's the 1940s or 50s or whenever they invented it. <laughs> it's just amazing. Isn't that just, and this just, it's got that drippiness that yeah. is, it that sounds you, great. It, I don't know how they've done it, but whoever no. listened to the, listened to that when well, that a lot now of digital, sounds the same. You know? It's a lot of digital processing power, isn't it? Dedicated to just doing one or two I things. I love it. It's great. Let's go oh. vibrato. I do have one criticism is probably the wrong word because this this vibrato circuit is a pretty accurate copy of what you know the way the the, the valve versions oh, yeah, and the vintage great. version sounds. I always kind of feel like for me if I've got a separate vibrato pedal, yeah. I would always have the vibrato set slower. That, so even on its slowest mode, it's not that it's slow. Not slow. It doesn't go no yeah like that. that Sorry, and on its quickest mode, it's almost a bit like mental, you know. Tarantino. Yeah. I 
just feel someone needs to bust the door down with a samurai sword and cut us both in half. <laughs> please, that would just be the end please, of the video. Please, please. That was the last video we ever did. <laughs> I mean, it sounds excellent. I mean, we need, we do need to try to do the comparison. We don't have uh, one with tubes in it. You know, no, the, the, moment, the, the big did. Super Reaver, which again, you can go and find on our website if you want to read up about it. Yeah. Um, Fender only get like one or two shipments a year of those and they make tiny, tiny amounts of them. So we don't have one right now, which is kind of a shame because that would have been the obvious, like, you know, the next oh, obvious video. We will do it. We will. We'll do it. Can I just put um, some gain on? Because we didn't do any gain. Do it. Just a little do bit it, of gain. It, Here's the protein, the blue side. It's immense, isn't it? I almost feel no, like what we need is a piece of cloth in front of it just to sort of give people a sense of just how much air is moving out yeah. of this thing but every time you do that. But that's for you, man. And it's clean, right? It's super crystal it's, clean. It's super reverb. Um, right. <laughs> well, on the back. Maybe, the back. We'll, maybe yes. we'll show you a little picture of well, the back we'll, panel we'll, uh, we'll as I'm doing this. So. Um, the two super, super cool things that are on all of the Tone Master amplifiers that Fender make are variable output modes, so you can run the whole thing down to like half a watt if you want yeah, to. perfect. Uh, and an absolutely killer DI output with um, three uh, cabinet simulation positions. One, no cabinet simulation, so if you have a standalone device and you'd rather use that, you yeah. can. Um, which is clever. Which is clever. Yeah. And then two... Um, different types of microphones. So one, if I just refer to my notes, one is um, a dynamic mic, close mic'd at the edge of the speaker cone. So basically kind of like an SM57. And the other one is a ribbon mic, close mic'd for increased smoothness. Uh, and they used a Royer uh, 121, well, actually, which is absolutely. bizarre because there we are. We actually have a 57 and a, and a Royer 121 that we're using on the, on the front. Yeah. So One um, in the middle and one slightly off sensor. Yeah, so the, the, the IR outputs on the back of this are either or. So you can yeah. either have the 57 or the 121. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we're yeah, using right. both we're simultaneously. Um, simultaneously. So let's, what I'll do first, I think, uh, actually, and other cool stuff, actually, that you can do. So. Uh, Operationally, you can use the amp completely standalone with no DI if you want. Yeah. You can use the amp and the DI at the same time, and the DI has its own level as well on the yeah. back. Or you can have the amp in mute mode and only use the DI output. So it's pretty cool. I mean, for mm. recording at home, if you really wanted to, you don't have to yeah, make any noise at all. Exactly. So let's, uh, if I just find it on the back here, there it is, a little bit further over. Here's the attenuator. So if I take it right down to its lowest mode. Now here's where, reverb. if you want to, you could go, I wonder what a Super Reverb sounds like <laughs> on 10. I don't think anybody has ever turned it up to 10 without bleeding. <laughs> yeah, that, it doesn't really work, Ooh. does it? At kind no, I, 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 to get that, I think, to experience what that is like, and I'm sure over the years artists would have cranked the behebes out of this. But it's everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you, you'd have just had so much speaker movement and all other stuff yeah. going on and ears bleeding. Anyway, here's the next one up. So back to where we were, half a watt mode. Okay. That's it. I'm just clicking. That's quite wow. interesting. So there's, there's not... So there's a big difference between like going from the half watt to the five watt mode. Like here yeah. you go. So here's a half watt. Five. Oh wow, okay. But 
but then lot. as it goes through like the five and the whatever the next is it twelve and it's then twenty two, there's not it doesn't there's not that but much isn't it difference. Headroom, you get yeah, more maybe headroom. try it. Yeah. So this is the ne next position. More clean, isn't next it? Next position. Next one. Last one, the 45, here we go. Woo. I mean, it is. We it's are so loud, quite, right? It's so loud. Up there. Yeah. I mean, I've done, well, I've played these in the past way, and I've never run them more than yeah. five, I think. It well, was loud enough. So that, that's that. Now we're going to jump over and show you the DI. I should also tell you as well, there's a USB socket on here, but don't panic. It's not for recording or editing or getting your Bluetooth app or anything. It's just simply that if uh, Fender ever do firmware updates, and yep. they have done on the Twin of the Deluxe, they've done firmware updates where you can choose different reverbs and you can choose different um, mm. uh, uh, cab simulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's the kind of things that you're likely to get via yeah. firmware updates. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much if you don't own a computer and you hate USB. I don't think there's a sense that you're missing out if you never ever upgrade this or update it. Sorry. Uh, okay, so oh, no, we're great, now I'm going to mute the um, guitar amp. So clever. So we're now only hearing this through some uh, monitors in the room. And did that just turn color? Did it? Let's have a look. Then. Oh, was it my? Oh, 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 look at that. So standby yellow. Standby yellow. Red. Where's green? Surely that should be green, green, shouldn't it? Should be. You, yeah. That doesn't make any sense. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, so here we go. This is um, now. This is in cabinet simulation uh, one, which is the uh, dynamic mic. Really nicely, yeah. dynamically, sonically delicious. Turn that down a little bit. It's really good. Uh, second position, which is the ribbon mic. Oh, I love that. That's that's great, isn't it? Shall I? I kind of feel like I want to do the one finger lift test, uh, <laughs> like which I know kind of messes up where the microphones are. So do you want me to leave that to right to the end but and then we'll fine. cut it back yeah, in? Let's or? just do it. Okay, yeah. so here comes the one finger lift test. Um, and the other cool thing here... The one finger lift test? ...is, um, is you've got the, 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 the legs on the side so you can do the kickback Oh, you've got the kickback. Which I kind of feel like I want to show you as well. So I apologise, Mr. Salmon. I'm going to move this and then we'll have to put it back. That's fine. Okay, so the one, the one finger lift test... One finger lift up. <laughs> Can you imagine doing that with an actual super reverb? Literally, your finger just you just leave off. your finger in the handle. Yeah. You? <laughs> and uh, and yeah, and the the legs are basically so that in the old days when you were in a little club and the amp was right behind you, you'd put the, the amp like that, and then you can stand right in front of it, and it's shooting right into your ears, so you can yeah. hear what you're playing, which is super super cool. And it kind of, I don't know, for me as well, it kind of it created a look and a vibe of amplifiers from back in the day that yeah, yeah. I just think looks cool. So, that, oops, good catch, Anderton. Uh, the only thing that isn't vintage about this is the foot switch, which is a good thing as well, because the old vintage foot switches were really kind of flimsy and crappy. Yeah. And uh, you get a, a sort of reasonably nice, modern, chunky foot switch with this one. 
Exactly. There you go. Let's put that back a bit. Well, thank you very much you for joining us. Uh, congratulations to Fender again on really, uh, for me anyway, you know, utilizing what, what is possible with digital, but in a very, very sort of guitar friendly way. Uh, sounds great. Looks um, the business. It looks it. And then you're, sometimes people yeah. listen with their yeah. eyes, man. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. Right. Uh, so very, very cool. And I'm sure what we'll see now is a resurgence of the super reverb. You know, people will start to go, well, I, you know, it is liftable. Yeah. It is usable. I can run it at some lower volumes if I yeah. want to. So Maybe yes, we well done. We're going to quickly jam out. Pete's done another loop. Do a head. Um, we're going to try a few different guitars now. So Peter, try the telly. I've got a Les Paul Strat what here. What is this telly here? I've never seen that before. Oh, piece, old piece Classic. of crap. <laughs> Classic <laughs> chibe. Uh, <laughs> what? Chibe? What does know. that mean? I just tried to find something that rhymed with vibe that wasn't vibe. A classic <laughs> Classic time. All right, man. Well, there we go. That's it. Links below. Please yeah, like and subscribe. Absolutely. Links Love below. Shows. I believe these are in stock and available from August 2021. Okay. Uh, and well, as I said, if you if you, if you you think, wow, that's amazing, but I just don't quite need something quite that big, absolutely go check out the, the Twin or the Deluxe in the Tone Master range. Absolutely. Well. Really, really good amps. Thank you.